Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're all good, happy and healthy. Now this time I will draw a flat graphic simple illustration for your avatar or your icon with Adobe Illustrator and my mouse. I already prepared the sketch and the color palette beforehand. Let's keep it aside and use it as a reference. Let's start the video and enjoy! So to make the base or the face, I'm using the rectangle tool and drag the radius to maximum to shape the head and I use the ellipse tool to make a circle and cut it in half to make it as the ears like this and move it to the face to make the shape as I sketched beforehand. Let's add the eyes with circle tool, make it circle and put the dark color, the darker color for the eyes, copy them and put it on the base that we already did before. And copy the ear, add the pinkish or reddish color to, to make it as a smile, open mouth. Yeah, I think it works now. For the hair, the idea is to make two circles and arrange it side by side and make it combine and then cut it intersected with the base of the shape like this add the color and voila this kind of flat graphic illustration is kind of trendy somehow and people use it a lot for avatar icons and also website main image or website hero image on the landing page or app so i think it's important to be able to draw it by yourself i also um, this way i added like the hairpin just combine two shape and intersect them to each other and it will create the new shape that we wanted before So for the hair, I decided to use brush tool and shape the hair, copy it and reflect it to the other side, flip it to the other side and combine them, something like this. Combine them together and just adjust the, the leftover side because it will be on the very bottom part of the illustration so it doesn't doesn't really matter how it shapes behind the face if that makes sense adjust it as you want it like this and for the neck i'm using the same methods like the base of the shape using a rectangle tool smaller one and add the radius to the maximum to create the shape of the neck like this uh, adjust the color i think with the opacity like smaller opacity 30 or 50 percent yeah something like this it looks good anyway this is my first time doing a voice voiceover like this uh, i don't really feel comfortable yet but i think this way it's easier for people to learn together with me rather than with the text because i also quite difficult to express myself with the text hope you don't mind and let me know in the comment below so i just added like the the collar part and for the body part i'm using the rectangle and adjust the radius part like this and add another rectangle and combine them together the key to the flat graphic illustration is just to think about the shape so combine a circle combine the rectangle combining the ellipse and so on and so on 
let's add the eyebrows I'm using the ellipse tool create the circle and delete some notes and adjust it as I want it and it becomes the eyebrow so as I said before the key is to take a look at the bigger shape of an element if that makes sense and then edit it and combine or intersect them to create the shape that you want let's copy the eyebrow make a double reflect them to the other side adjust again the radius something like this i'm adjusting the colors so it's closer to my skin tone and i think we need to add the shadow the key is to copy the shadow part if that makes sense and intersect it with the place that where the shadow belongs so you can see like this and it become the shadow of the head because i'm using the the head shape and intersect it with the neck shape if that makes sense i hope you understand and got what i mean just the same with the shadow on the ear like this copy it intersect it and then give the slightly darker darker color and then it becomes the shadow something like this anyway i recorded this voiceover with my ipad so i can add it to the video immediately let me know what you think about it or else i can try to record it separately with my iphone maybe it's better on the iphone somehow and i'm adding some lines to create a more believable ear with this adjusting again at the shadow for the hair part and in the face let's adjust the body shape like it's too big so make it smaller a little bit with the notes and i don't know let's see uh, i will make a overall shadow combine all the body part and select the darker color put it in the back like this and then you can see slightly shadow on the back of the illustration i'm still not sure i think it's becomes too too chaotic in a way somehow in this illustration let's see i will add some bubble speech one bubble speech simple like this and I changed the background color a bit and decided to not use the shadow for the body add my signature by Adinav and I think it's done I can use it for my avatar like Twitter account something like that hope you can try and learning something new with this video Hope you like it and please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment to this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.